Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. This is a box full of Y001S. Yeah, that's the model number, but we refer to it by its uh, official name, BP Doctor Pro. Yes, it is a medical device that is designed. Well, it's it's really a full-on smartwatch that does all kinds of things, but it's very very amazing technology, and it is for monitoring blood pressure. Before we dive in the box, I want to tell you a little bit about it. First of all, it comes from YHE Tech, a company formed in 2018 with some aspirations and visions that created a concept in 2019, pulled it up to the third generation prototype and launched it in January of 2020 on Indiegogo. By 2020, June, it was in the sales and shipment. And by t this year of April, 2021, went into this med project that they've been doing. They've got the whole thing assembled and out for sale now in July. And here we are in September, and I've got one in the box. What does it look like? Here you go. Oh, look at this. Yep, the Y001S. It looks like a smartwatch, but it's way, way more. It's actually a full-on blood pressure cuff type device for measuring your blood pressure accurately. Okay, I'll get into that in a minute. Let me tell you some more background on it. BP Doctor Pro blood pressure smartwatch. It's about 400 bucks, but I got a special coupon to knock off 100 right off of the bat, and you can get it with the link in our show notes and the coupon I'm going to provide you. In a moment, I'll show you how the whole thing works. Now, let's get into the box itself. There we go. I think I can help push it through that hole. We take the band off, and you're going to see something interesting. This is a non-removable band, and there's a really good reason why, because inside here is an actual cuff. This is like a little bladder, and a pump is inside. You're going to see this. It's inside the watch. It's going to fill it with air. It's going to tighten it up around your wrist. The sensors are in here, and when you wear this thing, it's actually going to read your real blood pressure the way a real cuff measures it when you put it on your arm. You ready for all of that? All right, let's begin. The box also includes a charging dock that the watch snaps into and, of course, a USB type of a connector to connect it up to your charging port. Inside the manual, you'll learn about all of these different things which we're going to thumb through quickly. You've got a safety disclosure information, basic specs. Look at this. It's a 1.4 inch AMOLED touch screen, 320 by 360 resolution. So it's a really great screen and high resolution as well. You've got a 170 milliamp hour battery and there's your weight and size for it. Typical smartwatch, battery life test results. You're going to be wearing it as a smartwatch with fitness and everything else and be able to take blood pressure with it. We've got this little strip in here that I'm going to show you how you size it for your arm. It's a dynamometer, dynamometer tape. Um, how you turn it on and off and installing the tethering app specifically designed for this device. First time use, you go through connecting it to your phone and you've got all the main menu of all of these different activities that you can get. Here's what you can do with it. Uh, main panel selection, you can change some watch faces, a control center, charging, and then you get into the blood pressure function, how it's measured. Now, I go through this fast, but you can always freeze frame any of these uh, screens that you're seeing and read this at your leisure or look online. Hopefully, they'll have a, um, a PDF of, the, of the, uh, the document here as well. How to measure it. It talks about where you want to uh, put your arm, how far it needs to be away from your wrist. This is serious, guys. This one is going to try to give you a real good 
reading. And in order to do that, you actually need to do like you would in a doctor's office and follow specific procedures to make sure that you're still, you've rested a little bit before you start and so forth. Okay, you can uh, set it up to record your stuff and keep it on the device uh, and transfer it to the app. Or you can go in visitor mode if you're going to loan it to somebody to test it out and it won't record all of that. You have blood oxygen in here. You also have heart rate measurement in here. You have heart rate variability with the Lorenz scatter diagram. We don't see that except on some very sophisticated uh, watches and bands. Then you got a sports section that covers some basic stuff and you can get um, you know, uh, your, your sport activity. You've got alarms um, and calories and even weather in there? Wow. Okay. And then overall general settings, storage and cleaning. And now you have been through the whole manual. I appreciate you sticking with us through this part. Now let's get into uh, having some fun. You're going to take this little thing here. You're going to wrap it around your wrist and you're going to stick this in through that hole. Okay, you with me so far? So we've done number one. You look at number two. I'm going to look at the underneath side of my hand and I want to put it two fingers up from my thumb like so. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to stretch it and match the number which is on a seven, right in the middle of a seven. And that's what I am, seven inches or centimeters Seven inches, we're in inches uh, in diameter. If I am a little loose, it's eight. But overall, right at that position, I'm seven. So you're going to measure yourself accurately. And that's important in how this thing's going to work on your particular body. So I put it in the charging case. We're going to charge it up. Then I'll turn it on and we'll walk through it. Here we go. Done a lot of testing with this puppy already, and I'm going to show you some of the results on that. But first, I want to re-emphasize, before we get into it, that this is not a medical device, and it's not meant for anything other than reference information only. Do not use it to diagnose or treat. And I really mean that because you're going to see some of the results may not be accurate, not just for this device, for everything I've tested all of our watches, all of our cuffs, rely on your doctor and their advice, okay? Uh, also, um, it's uh, going to be different on different people. You're going to get different kind of readings, even on how you hold your arm and your wrist. This is really critical on this one. So what you're about to see is numbers on the screen, and they represent an attempt at estimating your blood pressure in the moment. You ready? Let's let's jump into it. First of all, I want to show you how you set the thing up and how you do it. Now, this is the magic link. Bit.ly bit.ly BP Pro, uh, Doctor Pro. That's the link that you can go into to pick this up and use this code YHE. That's the company welcome for a hundred dollar discount on the price if you're interested in buying this. Got this whole special thing set up for you. How is it measured? It's a thing called oscillometric. That's every. Oh, that's how all the cuffs work. All of that stuff is the same thing. They pressurize your body, whether it's your wrist or your upper arm, to the point where you can't. The device with its microphone can't hear your your heart beating. And then they let the pressure out with a stethoscope. Same kind of thing. As the pressure goes out, they'll start to hear the first beat, the loud beat, and then they hear the second beat. And that's your systolic and diastolic oscillometric method. Now, this one's doing it on the inflation. It's hearing it. And then when it stops hearing it, it tells, OK, uh, we're too high now. So you don't have to go all the way up and start coming down like usual. It's made it a little bit speedier. Um, but that's how it's done. And this is how you need to do it correctly. Folks, there is no blood pressure reading thing in the world that's going to give you an accurate measurement unless you sit in a comfortable position with your back supported, elevating your arm to the same level as your heart, keeping your upper arm next to your body, relaxing your wrist and hand. You should be resting at least five to ten minutes after you sat down if you want to get an accurate message, uh, reading. And you keep your feet flat on the floor. That's the way. 
It's the way. This is what it looks like in a picture. Here's their box. I tried all kinds of different positions, and you know what? This one actually worked the best for me, sitting at my kitchen table with my arm bent and loose at the wrist with this two fingers away, you know, set back. You'll see that in the next picture. And just draping my hand without any tension over the box gave me the best readings. Uh, more accurate, what I expect it to be, and more repeatable. Now, you're wearing the band, like we said, two fingers up from your wrist crease, like that when you put it on. You're also going to tighten that sucker up really tight so it's not loose when you're going to do the blood pressure reading. Over tight, and I'm almost over tight, is going to result in, I think they say, low readings. And under tight, if it's really loose and flops around, you're going to get high readings. But just right, you're going to get closest to what your, your readings are. When you activate it, you're going to hit the start button and Inside here is a little micro motor that's going to cause a bladder. You can see it on the side here. That little black thing there is a little bladder to fill with air. And it's going to compress your wrist just like your upper arm thing does and literally cut off the blood flow going out into your hand somewhat to the point where the sound of the blood going through your artery will stop for the microphone that's built into this, probably down here, um, to sense. So at that maximum thing, after it's figured out your systolic and diastolic rates based on the pressure with the micromotor and all the calibrated electronics, you'll get this display on the screen. It will hold it in memory, up to 30 of them on the watch, and you can transfer it to your app. Let's do this. Now I'm going to do my best to try to compare the results from this watch with its inflatable bladder to this cuff with its inflatable bladder. This device is the automatic um, uh, blood pressure and ECG from uh, Wellu. Uh, GoWellU.com, and it's FDA approved. So you turn this thing on. If you're going to do a blood pressure reading, I just hit start. With this on my arm, it'll start inflating, and it's, of course, not going to go anywhere because I don't have it up, but you can see the air filling up in it. It automatically takes a reading, and it reports it here on the screen. I just have to sit relaxed with my arm in the proper position, and it's like a typical... Um, uh, arm reading blood pressure only it's fully accurate and uh, FDA approved uh, this thing is available um, go well you.com my recommendation would be have both of these something like this as a standard at home and something like this that you can check on the fly keep watching I'm gonna press and hold and Oh, you know what? I haven't turned it on yet. That's the power button at the top. Press and hold. I turned it off so I could show you guys when it uh, turns on. You see there's a little screen in the middle here. You can kind of make it out. It's not a full edge-to-edge -edge display. And you got some different watch faces. That's a nice one. Uh, it's tethered to the app already. Now I'm ready to press and hold. I press, it goes over to all of those things, but press longer, and it's actually starting it. So I would hold my hand down here. I'm going to simulate it and bring it up like this. You see the uh, number increasing in the upper left. Right now, the cuff is getting air in it. If you can see, yeah, it's not going to take it because I'm... I'm Definitely not relaxed doing this. The other way is after you touch the BP thing, you can hit start from right here. There we go. I'm going to try now and be quiet and hold still because honestly, this one is really, really sensitive. You've got to have everything just right. And I will in absolutely no way trust the number that it's coming up with right now because there are so many things out of alignment. I shouldn't be talking because that could interfere with the microphone hearing the pulse, right? You want to be in a quiet environment. And uh, it's not up at my heart level. It's below it, so I anticipate to have too high of a reading. And look at that. It's squeezing me down. Your wrist has you know, got all kinds of tendons in there, so it's got to go a lot tighter than a cuff would. Wow. <sighs> okay, yep, 168. I'd say I'm 128. So uh, it's giving me a reading is the best I can say. When you tap over here, you can see um, 
custom settings that you can put in here for a regular mode that you can set up almost like an alarm clock that it'll do it regularly and uh, then this custom settings you can go into um, setting the time and you can do it in different intervals and things so that's available to you and when you slide up you can get into your records and just to show you here's the record we just did here's one in the proper position and then I was just messing around with all kinds of different positions to see what I could get and uh, yeah it's very sensitive to being in the right position now in contrast to this I did similar types of things with this in the correct position let's look at those results we are going to get back to other features on the watch this was last night W means the GoWellU.com unit. BP is the blood pressure doctor, BP doctor. And uh, yeah, 128, 120, that reasonable, but that's a pulse rate. Uh, here we got 146, 145, repeatable um, over 60, 83 with that uh, pulse rate or heart rate. So this is about 20 points higher. I was not in the proper position on this. And they told me if you if you don't have your arm level with your heart, if this is too creased, you may be getting higher readings, which is exactly what I'm seeing. Here's some stuff today. Okay, this is where I'm talking about. This is just, look at this, 131, 129, 118, all pretty much within a 10 minute window of each other from an FDA approved calibrated cuff, probably as Good av is not better than what they use in the uh, hospitals. So blood pressure is hard to capture. It's not a simple single number like a heartbeat. It's something that's variable with a big window. So I wouldn't, I don't know, I guess 130. These are close together and this was anomalous or something. You know, you gotta, you gotta kind of estimate. So I figure 130. Here I'm getting 101, 145, 147. The first one looks like it's out of kilter. These look like it's similar there. I was in the same position with this. Now that I know that right position to get about 130, 128, uh, which by the way is about what my doctor gets. I'm right at that edge of 130 where I need to kind of take care of uh, heart, my uh, heart rate or blood pressure. Um, that's what I would expect. So you know, it doesn't really help for me to sit down and put these on and waste your time showing you them working and giving you the numbers. I showed you quickly how it works. Uh, all I can tell you is you got to really follow the directions. You've got to have it in the right position on your arm and you got to have it in the right position when you're sitting, especially for this one, uh, to get it to work for you. But if you like it, Bitly BP Doctor Pro will take you over there to their much deeper description on their own website and a button you can pick it up. Let's go deeper into the watch now and show you the other features. The app it tethers to is called BP Doctor Plus. I'm going to go ahead and open that. That's the Google Play Store. You can download it. You get into this opening page and this is where we begin. We'll come back to that in a moment after I show you some of the features on here. Here's the watch face. I get a control panel when I come down. I can adjust the brightness right here pretty cool. Uh, blue, uh, Bluetooth is on. I can vibration, uh, overall settings, battery level, um, alarm clock and stuff, and a do not disturb if you want to turn that off and on. Basic. Here you go into um, your overall settings and check this out. In display, there's brightness again. I actually have always on on this watch. Yeah, it's an AMOLED screen and it works really well and it works with the default watch face that you've got on there. It's not uh, a simple little analog hands or something it's the full-on face it does drain the battery you don't want to use it all the time but it works great and when the brightness is all the way up outside it's super bright and easy to read the alternate to that is raise your uh, arm to see the time and you can set a time frame for it to do that in terms of the dial themes or the watch faces you have a selection of a few here's a digital one that was digital you got this uh i mean analog you got this uh, nice digital one and then you'll be able to download some i'll show you in the app this is one of them and it's a nice simple round one with some data points none of these are active hot spots but they're there for you and that's all in the settings that we got to from here now come over that way you get your uh, step counts of the day and distance traveled and whatnot. Come over this way, and now we get first into the blood pressure, which we just did. Then you get into a uh, heart rate, and you can tap it and have it begin to give you your basic heart rate information. Uh, 
you have auto measurement that you can turn on and it'll automatically do it every 10 minutes and I thought I had that on in the app but uh, okay that's cool we got it on there now wow I'm all over the place from the watch face switch over here switch over here go over here here's where we can do uh, blood oxygen and same kind of thing now again you need to sit really still for this blood oxygen to work it is using the red diodes I don't know if you can see them there you go red and green it looks like and it'll give you a uh, percentage of course for your uh, blood oxygen you have to hit that upper button I guess to get back Back to watch face here, here, blood oxygen, and that's it. So you don't have a lot of cards on this one, just those, but you do have um, access, of course, to the apps from here. Now you've got blood pressure, we saw blood oxygen, heart rate. You got some workouts in here, not much. Uh, it's not really a workout watch. You got outdoor walking, indoor running, and outdoor running. No GPS, but you get a little bit of uh, a, a, a uh, fitness kind of stuff your basic alarms calorie uh, uh, burned kind of thing from your workouts and whatnot you've got last night's sleep information here and you actually get the chart you're light deep and awake but you don't get uh, REM sleep information on it you got weather in your area and it'll show you in centigrade settings and now the fun part heart rate variability not too many watches do hrv and the really good ones do can produce a thing called a lorenz scatter plot and here it is that's last night's scatter plot right there i have um the ability to turn it on it says it's going to use up more battery but you turn that on before you go to bed and it'll actually do that I'm going to show you the bigger chart over here but you can actually see the chart on the watch and this puppy will change and when you get to know what the shapes are you can see what the condition of your heart may be for reference only to consult with your doctor in the future and those are all of the apps so let's switch over now to um, those are the apps on the on the watch to the app on the phone now here's the data that we've uh, taken I pull that down to refresh it and that'll update it I think it's already updated we've got uh, blood pressure in here this is the range that I've got for today and then here's the little box diagram you've all seen that you want to be in that shady area here uh, to be in optimal normal but you can be way over like the one we just did when I was definitely not in the right position and, and these are the other ones that I took and recorded in a variety of different positions just to show you the, the capabilities and the variety there is a uh, friend mode or guest mode you can go in where somebody can put this on or you might want to fiddle around with it and not record the data until you figure everything out um, and it won't record it on the watch or, or transfer it to the app so you might want to play with that to begin with here's our HRV and it's telling me my heart rate index for last night is 75 and from 2 30 to 3 30 a.m. it took a reading of my heart rate continuously looks like almost every second and it generates the heart rate variability now if you look at the pulses of your heart they're not even they're not ticking every second there's a difference between the time delay between each of the spikes and that's the heart rate variability it varies between them you take the variability of one and and plot it against the variability of the one just before it those two will create uh, a point and you put those points over that time period on a plot and you get this Lorenz scatter diagram what does it mean well it's a figure and it correlates with what could be going on with your heart these are representative so I'm gonna have you guys with me take a look at that plot and look at these different designs to see which one's closest here's one like this it's got a bit of a tail coming down and kind of a fat body this is kind of like the opposite that's something that's something here's a couple more I don't know it doesn't fit any of them the closest I thought was the comet with a little bit more extra stuff around the edges so comet is your normal that's uh, what you typically should see when you're taking the heart rate variability if your heart's in good condition however it's kind of if it's reversed like that and there's more spread at the top it could mean um, 
that you, there could be some snoring and sleep apnea. And I have some of that too. So maybe that's contributing to a little bit of the width that's in it. When you get to these other things like the grenade, uh, that could mean that you've got AFib and it's likely uh, to occur when there's current uh, frequent palpation. So if you have one of those situations that your doctor said you may have AFib, but you don't know at night if it's kicking in, a scatter diagram might be something you could provide your doctor to give more insight. And these are other ones. You can play with the app to find them. This is all on the internet too. Go to scholar.google.com. It's just like going to your Google um, Dot com for search, but it searches the scholarly literature and put in uh, Lorenz scatter diagram if you want to learn more about this. Really, really great technology, and it's awesome to see that it's here actually on a watch and in a supporting app. That's HRV. Um, blood oxygen, it's only doing individual readings when you take your readings. It's not um, doing it all regularly, uh, automatically, because I really want you to sit still and be aware you're doing it. Also, you cannot act, uh, take any of these measurements remotely. We've seen some watches where you can activate it from the phone and it'll actually happen on the watch. So if someone else, an elderly person is wearing it or someone in the other room with COVID and you're trying to take all of these measurements and check them out, you cannot do that with this one. It's really for you to be doing your blood pressure and also some of these other things. Basic heart rate is here again, individual number. It's not the continuous one like we saw. Uh, workouts, I did a little quick outdoor walk for five minutes just to show you the kind of data it captures. Not much. It doesn't have GPS, so it's just giving you your basic stuff. But it's something that works if you want it. Your step count information is there, and um, that's pretty simple. Just how many steps you've walked around, calories burned. Here's that sleep chart. It doesn't match up with other ones, and I have three or four different things that monitor sleep every night. So I think during this window here where it said I was in light sleep, it just wasn't getting a signal. Um, again, there's no REM sleep. It's just awake, deep, or light. Uh, kind of a token addition to the watch. Um, doesn't provide you much, but it's during that sleep time that you're wearing it that you're able to get the HRV. So that is a good reason for wearing it at night, if nothing else, to find out the status of your heart through the variation of the beats while you're asleep. Wow. All right, that's it. You've got a calendar over here where you can change the different days and see the information, and then you got your overall profile. Um, you can go in and set up your watch. You can go into the dial market. Here's the other dials that are available. That's the one that I downloaded. You got a few different ones, not many, and uh, you can only store, I think, a total of four, of which only one is a sample that you're able to put in. So it's not here to be the world's answer to beautiful smartwatch faces, but it does the job in terms of giving you some faces that you can use. Account settings, units, all that stuff is there. You do need to um, check the version and do a firmware update on this. I had to do that initially. It took almost an hour, so make sure it's charged and you have plenty of time, maybe in the evening, you know, when um, you'll be around and just keep it close to um, the phone and it'll, it'll update without any problem whatsoever. Okay, that's the overall app. Um, showing you all of the different features and access to it. Now, let me just show you the band. It's got this funny little thing. Be real careful with that when you're taking it on and off because that's holding the bladder onto uh, the watch band. You probably can just put it in here. I don't think you need to slide it through there. Uh, that would work well enough, but it needs to, of course, hold the bladder onto the body of the watch itself. That was too tight for me. If I come back two notches and it's got some play in it, that's how I would recommend wearing it regularly. But you see it's going to flop around uh, and into that zone. You don't want to take blood pressure measurements. So they recommend you tighten it up good and tight, but not over tight. I mean, it's an art with this one, but that's what you do to take the uh, blood pressure readings. On off button here. This one basically cycles you through your... Um, our app drawer and long press activates the blood pressure reading. Long press while it's taking the reading will also stop it if you need to. Once again, 
It's called the YHE BP Doctor Pro. That's the unit. It's available um, simply by going to bit.ly slash BP Doctor Pro. That'll get you over to their website with all of the pricing and YHE welcome, all caps. When you go to checkout, put that in, and that's a Mr. Tick's discount code for $100 off right now. Um, yeah, if you like this one, definitely apply that discount because that's a huge savings. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. This is a very interesting and unique wearable, and it's gone through the whole Indiegogo process and is now in full production and ready to fly out the door onto your arm. Remember, it's for reference only, all right? Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.